Some residents of Dunkirk sympathizes with XCON in failed US boat migration attempt. We are killing going over there. Really want to leave. Want a better, want a better, better life. No life is in Jamaica right now. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Although not currently on the local police's radar for any crime, 53-year-old Dean Cook, otherwise known as Bobby Skeng, who was among Jamaicans seeking illegal entry into the United States by boat last week, has reportedly been in and out of prison for most of his adult life. At one stage in November of 2000, having escaped custody, he was sentenced in absentia to a total of 25 years in prison on charges of rape, shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. He was also slapped with an additional charge of escaping custody after he drove away a police car that he was being transported into the circuit court while it was left unattended on Princess Street in Kingston. Because of his exploits, Cook was said to have wielded major influence in the Dunkirk community of East Kingston after his release from prison after an extended sentence. And while some persons, including his elder sister, declined to talk about him when reporters visited the community, others gave guarded comments on the condition of anonymity. Me hear him tell the youth them say have to cut because police want to kill him and him friend them want to kill him, said one resident who grew up in the community and knew Cook all his life. I will say he is good and bad. Him get locked up for rape and them thing there. But he might try to change. But even though him a change, a whole heap of people don't want to accept this because of him past. But since him get out of jail about four months now, he might try to cool, the resident added. Cook figured on the police's most wanted list in September of 2019. Cook figured on the police's most wanted list in September of 2019 and was taken in on a murder charge, which was eventually dismissed in March of this year. One senior investigator at the Ellison Road Criminal Investigations Bureau, with knowledge of the case, said that the matter was rendered nulli prosecute due to insufficient evidence. The Dunkirk resident said Skeng was very paranoid after he was set free, and all he spoke about was leaving Jamaica to save his life. Him left about a month now. Me think him reached America. My friend, when we see him talk on TV, the resident said, Boy, him salt. At the first time, him try a thing and him get catch. A woman in her 50s said that Skeng seemed to have maintained a low profile since he was released from prison as she had not been hearing his name linked to unlawful happenings in the community. Since him did a long stretch in a prison and get out, him a call. A girl him a say, said the woman, who also said she had known him all his life. Another woman was sympathetic to his plight as she truly believes that he wanted a better life and to put his past behind him. He always showed me respect. Every time he passed by my house, he would greet me in a pleasant way, the woman said. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!